this week's Power Player, I'm here at Davio's in Boston to talk to Steve DiFilippo. Steve is an extremely well-known restaurateur in Boston, but he's also been quietly expanding his line of retail products. When I first started Davio's, I, was, I worked in the kitchen for a very short time because I, you know, I, I wanted to be more involved with the whole company, and I wanted to get chefs that cook better than me. We started in 1985 on Newbury Street. Uh, we've been now at this location right here in Park Square since 02. You actually have a line of frozen food that's sold in a lot of grocery yeah, stores. I'm an Italian Portuguese kid that sells spring rolls. <laughs> How crazy is that? Now we're in close to 2,000 stores from Florida wow. all the way up to Maine. Once we got in the stores, they wanted more products. So we came out with a chicken parm spring roll. Cool. Then we came out with a shrimp one with Maine shrimp and corn. And then we have a buffalo chicken one. My father obviously gave me the best advice. And he always said, treat your people you work with as best you possibly can. And that's probably why a lot of my people that I still work with have been with me 20 years, 25 years, and I'm very proud of that. What's your favorite piece of clothing? That's an easy one, my clogs, right here. I never leave home without my clogs. Oh, I have about man. seven pairs. Uh, I gotta find Clancy. Oh, there's that pizza oven that I just had that unbelievable pizza in. All right, he's gonna be back here somewhere. Hey, are you Clancy? I am. Hey, I'm Steve DiFilippo. How you doing? Doing well, good, doing good well. Good to see you. So what are you making here? Doing a little goat cheese ravioli, and then um, I was actually getting ready to make a batch of pasta. Well, can, in I, our, can I make it one more? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. When I was growing up, my grandmother would make pasta. She used to get mad at me when I would eat the pasta, but oh, she's yeah. not here anymore, so I can eat the pasta. <laughs> Farm to table is a phrase I'm sure you've heard before, but Boston chef Frank McAllen takes it to a whole nother level. Not only does Frank get all his ingredients here for his restaurants, he actually lives here. So it's great to come here and visit, but you know, we're on a mission here. So we're here to pick up all this stuff and go to your restaurant tonight and have a great dinner. All right, Frank, I think it's time for me to really get dirty and get working. I here. think it's about time. Okay. You got your hands yeah. in the dirt. As long as I don't mess up my clogs, okay? <laughs> Can't mess up the clogs. That's not good. This is a big crop of ours, lettuce. We grow lettuce and more lettuce. I'm going to take this with me. You don't mind, do you? No. This is going to be mine. Sure. a pesto for later. A dream come true. I get to ride a John Deere tractor. So excited to be here. Yeah. Welcome to Les Foyer. Let's celebrate our great day at the farm. Yeah. And I, me being here in the kitchen. Yeah. All right. Could be a long night. Yeah, it's going to be a long night. It's awesome. Here, cheers, man. Cheers. All right. <laughs> What a great day Thanks. on the farm and then at Les Valle. Fantastic. It's a beautiful day and I have a craving for oysters. So I came to the best source of oysters in the world. A three inch is the standard. So this is a three inch ring. If the oyster touches the ring, it's legal size. So this is legal? Yep. It's not really it's touching though, Chef. That one's a little yeah, I think you're cheating a little bit here. I don't, I don't here know about this good one. Yeah. Oh. So you go like this or you like this? Any way that it touches. So this touches. one's good? Yep. You got one, see? Oh, yeah. That's okay. a lot of work, right? <laughs> hey, where's my ride? Oh, here it is. As usual, restaurateurs have to go in the back. Show me what we're going to make here. Well, we're going to make one of our favorites here at the Oyster Bar. We're going to make our oyster sliders. So the first thing we can do is open a couple of oysters. And we're just going to bread these really quickly. It's kind of like making veal parm over here. but with Almost. Oysters. Yeah. Oyster parm. Yeah. That'll be on the menu next week. Yeah. Wow. The roll is so good. You might have to start selling these in the freezer section. Do you mind? Let's work yeah. it out. <laughs> I got my, actually my attorney. No, <laughs> no Italian, Portuguese guys, we don't work anything out. We just steal the idea, okay? Wow. You're out, man. I'm sorry. Let's go in the kitchen and see Mark. Come on in. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Steve, what are you doing? Mark, you gotta be kidding me. What are you doing with this apple? That's the axle. That's the axle of that pig's outfit. You just ruined it. No, if I put it back like that, they won't. It looks like the pig was Come eating that. Right. See, you know what I love about you? You yeah. get right you in there. Mind. No matter you what's mind. going on. Not at all. I'm starving. Wow. How's my cholesterol level gonna be after that? <laughs> 